Hello, Internet friends. My name is Bay. My forehead is here with the same shirt as the previous episode. Clouds is looking just great. And this is more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but I'm bad. Hard mode. Playthrough. Each chunk should be a chapter. We're playing with the Japanese voiceover. And we're in chapter two. That's just saying Queen's Blood in English with a Japanese accent. <laughs> I love it so much. There's a, there's a funny skit that goes over that. Like the example is, how do you say yada yada in Japanese? And they don't have a word for it. And then they just say it in English with a Japanese accent. And they're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So if you were to say Queen's Blood in English, they'd be like, what did you say? I think with the Queen's Blood, though. Oh, <laughs> I love it. So good. Well, now I wonder if we have to do the first game of Queen's Blood. Because... I plan for this playthrough to be no side content other than the side quest that I have to do. Just love the sound of the Japanese language, though. Isn't it just something? I know I'm a weeb, but like, I've been watching anime since I was, you know, in grade school, but man, there's something about it. Only Queen's what I have to do is the tournament on the boat. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh. Listen to that. Listen まずはI know a lot of it is just like the language that you know doesn't sound as cool as other languages you don't. And I've been, again, picking up on so much Japanese over the past a bajillion years of my life that I actually know like short phrases and things and something like that, but. But man, it sounds so cool. Ah, there's deep red. あれを待っていたのか。感謝を伝えていなかったと思ってな。クラウドたちのおかげで北条から逃げられた。成り行きだ。だとしても本は必ず返す。しばらくは一緒に行く。<laughs> now I'm curious how how chibi his voice becomes when he does his actual voice, not the uh I am a big strong cat dog man. Very old and wise. When you find out he's actually like sixteen years old. <laughs> おはよう。みんな街を見に行ったみたい。そうらしいな。あのタンク思い出さない。あ。約束した場所だ。あの時の服。お気に入りだった。ああ。水色みたいな。
So full disclosure, I have the dialogue options on the other. I have like the cheat sheet because during the hardware playthrough, I want to make sure I raise every or if I can raise them as high as I can. So that on a third quick chapter run through, I can raise the other ones. But you can't raise everyone's relationship to 100% in one playthrough, though, because of the decisions that are 50 50s. The decisions you see that have stars on them will be the decisions I've already made. And when you replay through a chapter, it'll show you the one, two, or three star options for, uh, for your dialogue choices. But I just, I just pulled up the database to show which, which ones are the... the top choices just to do that as I run around and do this. Now, time to get lost and calm again. That, make that makes sense. You know, awkwardly, maybe it's just because it's my first time hearing it. I kind of feel like Japanese Chadley wouldn't have been as annoying <laughs> as English Chadley. <laughs> it's just because it's so much. It's just so much Chadley. This is just to show where I'm at on the combat sim. So done, 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 done. And we're starting here and here. I'm going to be weaving these into the playthrough here and there, I guess. Like maybe at like the end of a chapter, if it's not been a super long one, because some are shorter than others, then we'll uh, go do one of these. Even though a lot of these are going to be with the same build, I'm going to be going with the uh, too, too Bad So Sad strat, as it's been coined for, I think, all of them. Or no, it's these three are Too Bad So Sad, and this one is not. And then all of these are individuals. This is the Cloud and Zack battle, which is for the other ribbon. And then to be a hero is Cloud plus someone else, I think. I'll double check. Okay, it's a Cloud book, so I think it's Cloud plus someone. Which would probably be like Cloud Barrett or Cloud Aerith, I imagine. Probably Cloud Aerith. Just because a lot of these... If you could bring Aerith in the end game, you just do. Oh, see, he even says that there's no more time to collect intel. Because there's no reason to do intel in hard mode. It's already been finished. Huh, it does sell the starter gear. Interesting. Most vendors actually don't. Yeah, say it's three stars. Same thing. Oh, Iko. Honto? Yatta! So, there's a new joke in Morate Okara. Don't know my day. See you go. So, there's a other day. 
今日はどうします That's also a side question, too. Do. Does Japanese still sound. You know, that. When portrayed to be, does it actually sound. Oh, dang. She needs 55 for her last two. Oh, my God. Does Japanese still sound that cute and emotion. Emotion oriented, like emotional tor uh, forward, if you are, uh, if it's your native language. Or does it just sound like, you know, what you're used to, I guess? Go find Barrett. He's at the bar. Which is down here. Yeah. Oh, Ohaya, you may come in the Asakara non de Moka. Saki Jane Shukuhaiwa, seven su heaven with Saikin sticker. その時は俺がおごろう。そりゃ嬉しいね。<笑>じゃ、高い酒を仕入れとかないとな。Little exaggerated in media for effect? Maybe. Possible, yeah. 長旅になりそうだ。準備はしっかりしとけよ。That's fair. I was actually wondering a little bit to see if there are any places to to change outfits. I don't think there is. Thinking <laughs> <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere, but that is his best choice. I think that's all the dialogue. Yeah, no more dialogue until chapter four. Well, that makes relationship stuff. There's actually a lot of uh, dialogue choices that don't impact anything. They're just for cutscenes. Oh, that's right. Oh, this way. They're just there for just more, more dialogue and little cutscene interactions. They don't actually do anything with the relationship system. There she is. Specifically, you can't convey body language the same unless it's all animated, and sometimes it's not. Usually, it's all about inflection and, and delivery of the emphasis on the correct syllables. But obviously, in a fully animated game like this that has motion capture elements to some degree, but is also just an animated game and is also still very anime, then yeah, it's a bit of a combination of both, I guess. Like, Aerith is so disgustingly cute, but also in English, too, so it doesn't... It is just cool hearing the, the, the Japanese deliveries, though. Which is why we're doing the hard mode lately like this. He's right there. ここから見ると小さいね。距離があるからな。ね、ティファと何かあった？ほら、部屋同じだったから。何か言ってたか？特には何も。でもわかる。幼馴染なんて。<笑> 
羨ましい、うん、大切にしなくちゃpicks up all the parachutes. Push those out the other day. ついてこい。Yeah, some of the tonalities in anime pitch for female characters can be a little much. That's also why I wanted to see how they did the characters here. Now, I imagine Yuffie, she's a little over the top, but it's also her character. あんたもアバランチも似たようなものだ。待て。私が兵士の気を引こう。君たちは上の足場を渡れ。何かあったんですか？ Helicopters are blind, I guess. I didn't say it when I was doing my original playthrough since I wasn't really talking a whole lot. But yeah, I always thought it was kind of weird. But here on the rooftops, which would make you easier to spot by the helicopters circling above, but the Shinra helicopters don't see anything. They got stormtrooper eyes. <laughs> Oh, 
北で待っている地下道が町の外まで続いている今ならまだ待ち伏せはないはずだ外に出たら近くの農場に私の知人がいるから頼るといいそれとこれをクラフト端末だ共和国時代に作られた骨董品だがアイテムクラフトができるようになるアニメマジックデアイテムよければ使ってくれ It's like a giant game gear, and you just like put some rocks on it and some like feathers, and then you push the button and it turns into Genji gear. Yeah, anime magic. Guess I probably should say RPG video game magic, it's not just anime. さっさと言ってくれ<笑>しばらくはこの町に近づかない方がいい<笑> It's a lie low for a while so just roam the countryside Do a bunch of side quests よかった無事だったんだ The classic Japanese, eh? <laughs> It's so good. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it. Yes, <laughs> that's <laughs> <laughs> in a weird way, I think us being in But the characters that can change in being in like our casual clothes for right now kind of feels right. And then when we can change back into our battle outfits, it'll make more sense, I guess, because we're not in that situation anymore. Although I was thinking about yesterday, I might leave them in this. because I do kind of like how I look just to separate the playthroughs. But in some of the cutscenes, it I guess it'll look kind of weird, right? Like a little less serious if Cloud's in this chocobo Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> also, it doesn't show like it doesn't show Tifa's weapons or anything either. The Aerith dress is fantastic, but. <laughs>
ムにはしばらく戻れないよねそうだなEverything is explored, and I can technically just fast travel. Kind of takes a little bit of the fun out of it, but this is a playthrough for the main story, not walking around the plains. I'll beat up some orcs, though. <laughs> Acceptable. Please get down around this huge cliff and I have to walk all the way around. Shinra no heki? Ah. Demo, kanari furuina. Kyo kokto donbachi ya tuta korono daro. Kono atari demo, senso standa ne. Kono hoshi wa, leki shi o saka nobori ya senso bakkari da de. Yaru shi. Yonda? Kono? Ya! Tatami kakeru. Heki suzuke. Oh, tuk tuk. Huk. 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 Oh yeah, so hard mode is also not as punishing as I thought it was going to be. So here's one thing. I'm not going to have red in my party for some time. So... one of the things that is suggested to do in hard mode is have one of your characters that you're not going to be using in many of your battles do the HP to MP swap and have them be your out of combat healer. This only works in the overworld, but as you see there, now I have only 86 MP. Apparently, unlike benches in remake hard mode that only give HP, if you use a bench in rebirth hard mode in the open world only, probably do help facilitate if you're actually farming in hard mode for whatever. If you use a chocolate rest stop, which we're almost at, and use a little butt cushion that Cloud's butt just absorbs, it actually gives you back your MP even in hard mode. So as long as you're in the open world sections, you don't have to worry about running out of mana. Mostly for triage. As you'll see. Which is weird. That's not how that's not how remake works. So now if I need to heal between combat, Red has 8,650 mana.
It doesn't help you in combat, but it does help you out. Like, between overworld combats, anyway. So, just extra little things that are different. There's also uh, some cheese you can do with... Oh, we got the combat ring. Okay, game. You can use... So, like, say Aerith gets low on mana. You can do some combats before bosses where you give her like five linked spells of the same materia. You say you link, say you link uh, like, uh, you can't do petrify, you only have three of them. So link like fire and ice or fire. You link it with half cost mana, both of the MP absorbs, so it's 0.6% mana and magnify and you use it on aoe and try to get the magnify hits to hit multiple things and it might cost 11 or 12 mana to use an aga spell but she'll gain like 40. so after a couple combats she'll be at full mana then you can swap her build back to whatever you had before so there's a, there's a couple of like little things you can do to keep your mana going in some of the harder longer chapters but there's also the fact that you can give Aerith specifically. She has one of her stabs that has a whole bunch of mana soul drain. And you could give her the... Which I might be giving her at some point. You give her this keychain. So whenever you stagger something, you gain some extra MP. This could stack, of course, with the aforementioned things. So you just give her more mana regen. She has the largest mana pool. That's why I just bring her up as an example. Yeah, she only has Quake to use right now. Also, apparently, Radiant Ward is the way to play hard mode. You're immune to some types of spell effects if you're standing in that ward. You just take, like, if you're in that ward when gravity hits you, for example, when you're in Nibelheim, you take zero damage. The little things like that. Oh, the chest is a yellow chest, not a purple chest now. What's in it? A high potion? Oh, gill that I don't need. The cloth sim broke. There we go. だが船は死んでいる。無理だな。そんじゃ泳ぐか。湿地にはミドガルゾールムが潜んでいます。だって。でもチョコボのスピードなら大丈夫。さあ、チョコボで血を超えましょう。チョコボのご用命はグリーンボクジョーまで。だって。どうする？チョコボ乗る？乗る？行ってみよう。<笑><笑><笑> <laughs> that cloth sim is uh broke a little bit there just a little bit yeah so i still have to do certain chocobo things to unlock them because they're story based except unlocking selena in nibelheim i guess you'll just have her when you go the game chapter doesn't show that you need to unlock selena but it does 
show for Fango and for Eco. Oh. Wow. Once per zone, at least. Poor rat. See, she just called him Truck Grandpa. <laughs> that was not in the translation, but she basically called him Truck Grandpa. That's... <laughs> hmm, that was good. お嬢さんたちなら<笑> 昔は国営の交通網があったがご存知の通り、今じゃ全くの役立たず。うん。そんな時代に便利なのがチョコボ。特に湿地帯ではこの上なく役に立つ。お嬢さん方。チョコボがどうやってそこなし沼を渡るか
看板を見た湿地対応のチョコボを借りたいあおじさんたち運が悪いおじおじレンタル用のチョコボはみんな貸し出し中なんだいっぱいいるじゃねえか今いるのは療養中か契約済みの子だよでもまあおじさんたちがもっと高値で借りてくれるっていうなら譲ってもいいよいくらだよ10万以上あっえっごめんね私たち旅の途中でそんなに払えないのうんああそれならいい情報があるんだ I have 600,000 情報量1000ギルえっと言いたいところだけど美人を困らせたくないからタダでいいや実は少し前に牧場から逃げ出してそのまま野生化しちゃったチョコボがいるんだもしそいつを捕まえてくれたらお姉さんたちのものにしていいよ本当に名前はピコちょっと気難しいやつで放牧してたらいつの間にか逃げちゃったんだおじさんに雰囲気が似てるかも<笑><笑>まずピコの足跡を探して足跡があればその近くにいるはずだよ野良になったチョコボはすごく用心深いけど気づかれないように近づければお姉さんたちでも捕まえられると思うなうん分かったありがとうあとこれ重要情報はタダにしたんだ必ずうちの店で買い物をすること妹のクリンが売ってるからまずは見てってよ<笑><笑><笑>商売がうめえな<笑>チョコボを捕まえたら一度うちに連れてくるといいよ乗り方や育て方を教えてあげるお兄ちゃんがお金お金ってごめんなさいお仕事だからね気にしないでそうなんだけどパパとママがいなくなってからとってもお金にうるさくなって。お姉さんウィットガルから来たのうんスラムからチョコボサムって知ってる、うん、知ってるっていうかうん知ってるどこにいるの六番街のスラムだろうなウォールマウサムに会いたいのうーんわかんないその人パパとママの敵なのクリンその話はお客さんにはしないよでも今の話はよそでしないでよねサムはチョコボ業界の大物だから変な噂が立ったらうちなんかすぐに潰されちゃううん分かった誰にも言わないあピカを捕まえたらこの野菜あげてみてくださいピカは特に野菜が好きだったからここに戻ってきたくなると思うんですそれじゃお店も見ていってくださいお兄ちゃんは必ず買えなんて言ってたけどいいものがあったらでいいんで買ってくださいあとチョコボの道具品と黄金の羽の交換も受け付けてるんで、うん、そちらもよろしくお願いしますYou know what, Chloe? Today's your lucky day. <laughs> Here's an injection of a hundred thousand gil. <clears throat> I can't use it for anything. Like, like, items don't do anything in hard mode. <laughs> There's a hundred thousand gil, kid. Pika no kata, yarashka onegai shimas. Chocobo o higai sasere toki wa, sako no chocobo wa tsukatte kudasai. Wait for it. Oh, there's 1500 gil on that box right there. I got a rebate. A 1% return on my investment. Well, they're split. The dialogue was weird.
Oh yeah, I forgot where it actually was. Oh, you should follow the tracks that are outside. Of you know, this way. But it's a long time. I've done these earlier MSQ. Oh, he's already wearing my armor that I had him in. That's kind of strange. Oh. Oh. Really? Oh, I guess I'm out of the... You can't roll the noise, I guess. can't even do the little sprint you have to just do this oh, oh my god rumbles go crazy yes, yes. Here's your giant radish. He <laughs> <laughs> looks fucking ridiculous. Because of my racing gear. Actually, is weird that it still has my. Kind of feels like in this scene, the racing gear should have not been loaded onto Pico. It's a little bit strange. Kind of ruins the cutscene, even if it's a little silly. Okay, there's just no. The, the assets are just tied together, so I would have had to have unequipped Pico before restarting the chapter, I guess. Doesn't matter a whole lot, it's just silly. いつでもチョコボを呼び出せるから。チョコボに乗るのを初めての人もいるよね。はいはい。じゃあ、うちの練習場を使っていいよ。案内するね。<笑> 
I can do the first. You know, just for uh, purposes of right now. There won't be any. There won't be any running around, so. Or any more trickler racing in this playthrough. That's all in the regular one. Plus, yeah, there you go. Boink! <laughs> it just. Introductory race thing. I'm gonna go find a giant fire lizard snake. ここ<笑> <笑>お兄さんたちはレースに出るわけじゃないから、とりあえずチョコボに振り落とされないようにね。それじゃあ、チョコボに乗ったら声をかけて。おお。いい感じだね。じゃあ、軽く走ってみようか。<笑> Let's see if I can actually beat my original time and even faster, because I've done every chocolate race in this game. This I don't think this course really lends itself to that though, so we'll see. Oh, there's also different controls. This is not the racing controls. This is the open world controls, so you can't even you can't uh drift. You can just sprint. But oh, never mind. I don't know how much faster you can even do this whole thing. Eight and a half seconds faster, I guess. I don't know. Oh no, I didn't even do it. First was 31 seconds. I failed. I read the wrong thing. <laughs> もしかしたら、お兄さんとキコならレースでも勝てるかも。いろいろありがとね。の、そういえばお姉さんたちお金ないんだよね。なお、カームなら仕事があると思うよ。シンラの軍隊もいなくなって落ち着いたみたいだから
options. It's just different dialogue, I believe. Now, there is the whole doing the odd job correctly. Oh, see, the, the actual enemies drop the folio manuscript, scripture, whatever. Interesting. Not completing the quest. Yeah. We'll make a slight adjustment here then. Oh, yeah, it's all the way up in the other zone. I was like, I thought it was on the... Yeah, it's right here. There's so many of them! Oh, my God! Okay, hold on. One more... <laughs> One more adjustment. So many of them. Oh, my goodness. Cloud of Magnify on? Oh, Magnify Resist. Yeah. I'll need that right now. Oh, I'll just move air. It's, it's fine. God, dude, what the hell? <laughs> I've heard this was silly, but what the hell, man? What the heck? Oh my God. <laughs> so much damage. <laughs> oh, 
Good thing I made that adjustment. Holy crap. Oh, I mean, it's just yellow, white, red still. I thought it was changing, but it didn't change. came from. I didn't pick any blue. Those managers are crazy, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell was that, man? I was trying to hold block, but once you started getting hit by their Mandrake cannon, I, I couldn't. Your, your character was totally stun locked. I couldn't move. Oh my goodness. Da, 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 da. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my gosh. Oh man. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, I have to do some adjustments on here for uh, Mick Art Stormer anyway, but just, just to keep everything at least somewhat organized. She had the speed material, not time. She had a speed up. Because Aerith's speed stat is so abysmal. Her ATB charge rate, unless you are forcibly maxing it. With spamming synergy abilities and stuff. Or doing ATB cheese. Unable to obtain 99 of each of those? 
兄ちゃん<笑>お兄ちゃんカレー俺クリンが作ったのうん<笑>ありがとうどうかな<笑>似合ってるねあ,あお揃いだ<笑><笑><笑>
than the, the free ones. うまく逃げてるみたいだな。うん、ちょうどよかった。仕事を頼めないか。俺はオリバー、ここの農場主だ。実は夜な夜なうちの家畜が襲われて困ってるんだ。犯人はモンスターだろう。探し出して退治してく
Dude, that damage is untenable. What the heck? That is so much damage. <laughs> Doesn't have a uh, a weakness either. Synergy. I said the wrong thing. Dude. What the heck is this scaling? What the hell? All right. Well. Dude, what is this scaling, man? All right. So D faith and D brave probably way more important all right r4 drive safe man Good grief. Dosta Shinra no Bill Nita say there. What does she know? Hana was curling a matisha matrasi. What does she look at her? Cocoma the three sixty kina catadro. Chocobo no cagada. Quick Chocobo nite she is subeki kamuna. <laughs> so I guess yeah little adjustments then good grief that was wild that was some wild damage I mean, Tifa takes 15% more. So, oh, that's what I'm also missing, too. I forgot I moved that as well the other day. Dark side might be a little too spicy for hard mode, I wonder. Hmm. Maybe that's why I took the speed off a while ago too, because I was using uh do 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 because basically every combat has to mana wall Tifa at this stage in the game. Yeah, most likely. I was through her um her reprieve too. She has one reprieve built into her kit. That was just like an astronomically ridiculous sudden amount of damage. <laughs> it's so silly. 4,000 damage and then it just howls and it still hits you for 1,000 damage if you're far away and then you just get bleh. Yeah, so debuffing 
damage output and then just mana walling all the time, I guess. Oh, so <laughs> Alright, Kyrie. よ。お前、<笑> そうだよね。それはそうだよね。私も報告したい気持ちは人一倍あるけど。ああ。補修に必要な部品が足りなくて、まだ全然。え、一緒に部品を集めてくれない。ふざけるな。善という棒な後輩を助けると思って。ね。
Oh, uh, isn't there fiends that attack her on the road or something? Indeed. What she said. I still don't know how she repairs this, getting that close to that much Mako. You are the worst of weak to fire, yeah. She's just right in the Mako, like... <laughs> How is she okay? Maybe she's not. Oops. I have to switch Cloud's sword soon. Guess one that gives him back more uh, mana. Although I think after these we're just going to the boss. Oh, <笑>次の仕事があるとかで慌てて出て行かれました。さすが噂に高輪の実力者。お忙しいですね。思わぬ商売型の登場だな。そうだ。心優しい何でも屋さんから皆さんの分の報酬を預かっております。<笑> So let me double check. Does this actually do anything for hard mode? 
I don't think they mean anything. Because this one is for a transmuter chip. And it gives you a cleansing materia. Yeah, so if I've already done them, then it should already be... Let me double check. Some of these give relationship points with characters. So that was the one I was, I guess I was missing that with Barrett, or I already had that with Barrett. That odd job. And I didn't have the right um, response. Oh, goodness. I did a couple things with Tifa. She's at 94 now. Yeah, so there's certain odd jobs, I guess, that I didn't do correctly. It's hard to tell, but I think if I just focus on the ones with... Like, if I play through all of hard mode and do all the ones that have folios, and I'm still missing some, then I'll know that I may have to redo the ones that don't have the folios, which I can just blast on normal mode, just to fill this stuff up. Which is fine. Because that, that side quest is an optional one that unlocks the, the zone hunt stuff from uh, Broden, which we've already already done. So, it's boss time. I think I'm just going to make my whole party immune to fire damage, just to be easier. Since Midgard Sormer does a lot of fire damage. I could do plenty of damage to him without elemental materia being a thing, so... Make our summers weak to ice. Checking, checking, one check. Again, not really in any type of order for some reason. Like the first real boss of the game and it's just... Now I could have missed it. I am paging. I think they're numbered in a sense of like threat level or something. Hello, Rufus. He's way down here. He's any number 209, even though he's the first boss of the game. Well, second boss of the game. Weak to ice. Can be slowed, uh, can't be slowed, can be stopped only in probably stagger windows. What's that again? Oh, fixed damage. Yeah, so it's synergy abilities and frost. Yeah, synergy and frost. Okay. So let's make some adjustments. Oh, whoops. Sorry, Barrett. I'm just going to make everyone immune to fire. So I feel like in hard mode, you can easily get totally one shot. Who has my other elemental materia? I have it on no one? Oh. I could take off first strike. I just have to use synergy abilities with her earlier. Auto unique is super important on Aerith. I have learned to appreciate that more and more. For this fight, she should just have this on ice. I don't really need her to do more than just cast Lazaga primarily. Tifa can do that just fine. Fire, fire. 
Still need to move two things off of Aerith. Can't use sleep right now. And in first strike is the most not need thing, so we'll do that. Oh yeah, no one has it. So we'll just be all immune to fire damage. Just to make this smoother. Just little things like this can give you a real edge on some of these bosses. Considering I could have done this for the previous wolf too. Because I would have not taken Mbuku damage from its AoE damage. It would have all just been immune and healed us. Cloud really doesn't need lightning wind right now, but... See, now I don't have D-Protect. Well, in this case, I don't have D-Shell. It's a lot of builds I see for hard mode, though. Well, it's not a lot of builds I've seen. I've researched and looked up suggestions, and essentially, Aerith just has one spell bound to five command materia, where she just has it as with double extra potency, mana cost reduction, magnify, and MP absorb. And that's like her whole build. Maybe she has an HP up on. But that's all she has. But that obviously works. It, it definitely would limit your options. Should mostly be fine. I think Cloud should have time materia too. Or no, deep protect. That's so much damage. Yes, well, not subversion, but uh Yeah. Yeah, Yuffie has my other one because she also does tons of magic damage. Okay. That should be fine. There's a lot of other things I could really do. Like, I could move. Tekken Guy should give Red's Bangle to Cloud for one extra Materia. Like, little things like that. Because he has the Hades armlet. It's only 3232, though. I have Cloud with the um, Valkyrian, because he's normally in melee range, to give him the higher physical resist. But it seems like that's ne maybe not the scariest thing in hard mode. It looks like it might just be <laughs> just magic damage going bleh, just burping magic damage on you which is probably why you just start all fights with like magnified mana wall on your whole party all right let's go fight big snake which I think is the end of this chapter, because then we go into the mines. I don't need to do all the exploration here either, so. There's a lot of extra exploration during this section, which we don't have to do. Just doing the chapter. チョコボなら大丈夫って言ってたけど、この子たち信じよう。あれを見ろ。セフィロスだ。<laughs> Just a black robe guy.
It's so obvious he's right there. I don't know why that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can see why magnify mana wall on rip is very important. I am I am seeing this now. Well, Aerith is trying to get this res off. That is an unbelievably impressive amount of damage. I... Oh, weird. It's actually like a full on stun this time. This is not going to go off in time. Nope. Well, that's supposed to happen. Yeah, okay. I'm starting to see why you would just set up Aerith to just blast. It just takes too long to build up ATB otherwise. Okay. And then it doesn't even work. Yep. Okay. Yep. This is why the build has to be incredibly. Where did it port me back? Okay. All right. Well, my first actual boss fight. So. We're going to put, uh, Aerith is not going to do that. Does she already have cleansing in case we need it? Yeah. Wrong button.
The re-raise isn't going to work on Cloud. Too expensive. Starting to starting to understand. It's all it's all we got. There's like a there's a tempo to it in hard mode boss fights. You just need to there's like a setup period. Because even with people blocking, they were still getting hit for fourteen hundred damage, which is just just crazy bonkers. I mean, that's pretty much everything that she needs. I guess technically she doesn't need this. You don't need revival if you don't go down, right? So. When bosses like this, I wonder if I should be doing the, um, like when does the, I don't have all the pieces for the limit break build though. I don't know what else you can really use with one slot. Like everything, this is when I think if she just goes back to the speed material. She always go defensive, I guess, too. Okay. Gotcha. This is like the first. It's like it's like honing in and on what is needed for hard mode stuff. Holding the block, but sure game. Holding block. Oh, the button I wanted to press. That's with mana wall, by the way. That mana wall doesn't last very long. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. See the thing pop up of his head, and I immediately hit to uh, I immediately hit block, and it doesn't doesn't work. Yeah, I have no time to really uh, I guess all I need is barrier right now. I have no time to set Aerith up. That's one thing I'm noticing. I held block. I moved and held block, and it still hit me. Yeah, 
Phase 2 is going to be easier because all the fire damage will just heal us. Why I'm not as worried about it. Just getting to this point. What's this stagger bar at? Tifa needs a little bit of juice here. Cloud needs two. That's fine. Yeah, see, he's gonna not get health gated anyway. Didn't really have time to really debuff him. Health gates anyway. Save that. Yeah. Again, more fire damage, big whatever. had to fine tune a bit I don't know if this is something in his mind or if this is real because it didn't look like there was water there that was this deep.
And he just cuts to him being fine. On the... Yeah, that's, that's one of the plot holes. We don't have answers to how that happens. Unless that's supposed to mean that Genova Roth, Sephiroth actually does save Cloud from drowning. I don't, I don't know if that's supposed to be the implied thing there. And that is again, of course, depending on how far this game takes the is Sephiroth actually dead this whole time? Oh, what the heck? Red's mana reset? Why did his mana reset? We're still in chapter two. Is Materia messed up? No? It'd be coming out of the cutscene broke his MP swap? It falls into the live stream and teleports randomly. I don't yeah, it's I don't know what this is one of those questions that did that actually happen? Did Cloud save himself? Did Sephiroth actually was he actually there? He did teleport in and apparate in that like whisper cloud stuff. So was it Genova with the black whispers? I don't know, Raggy. I have no idea. We don't have a definitive answer on that yet. So uh, I do have to see every time we get to uh, that might be a, a set and forget right there. Is that combo? It's just right into it, which makes me wonder if Cloud probably should now be switching over to uh, is it Rune Blade? Is more supporty sword? Double checking. Hmm. As the ATB charge, but. And stagger recovery. Because hmm. on the other option is you do, is it Ig Igneous? No, Umbral? Because he has Reprieved, Restorative MP Saver. Bloodsucker is kind of whatever. The defense 50 is huge. And then you do... Hmm. Some options. I don't think he has a buffing sword. Oh. That's what it is. You take trade off. Whenever he gets hit really hard, he just gains MP. Yeah. I'm just more set up to have Tifa as my ATB battery. She's the one that feeds ATB to people, so I usually have, pe have Cloud be more supportive. And then Aerith is going to be the damage. And these can go back to offensive now. I didn't even get to do the... See, that's the thing about like hitting really hard with Genji Gloves and Aerith is that doing the stop the stagger bar and then raise it like to 500 doesn't really matter on story bosses because you just get health gated and it goes gray health and you can't hurt them anymore. So... 
I have a sneaking suspicion that I won't be able to really use dark side very much in hard mode playthrough. So I might just take dark side off. I think Yuffie might be able to use dark side because she's so much more agile and can be ranged. I don't think Tifa's going to be able to use dark side. I think that won't really work for her. To give her synergy support, because then when I use Cloud and Aerith together, she'll gain a synergy as well. It's actually a really, really powerful one to do is do the spell blade with Aerith and Cloud. They gain ATB and they both gain it faster. And then whenever they use something, she'll gain synergy as well. It's pretty good. But I just don't think I'm going to be able to just keep making myself take more and more and more damage. She's running Kaiser right now, which is her super offensive knuckles. Which I might have to swap those to... Uh... They lose, she loses so much physical damage. It's crazy. That's the crit build. What did Crystal have again? ATV, Enhanced Elements, Techniques. Oh, Kaiser is still just, they're all damage. The concentration, Martial Arts, this extra magic. Remember, scaling of your elemental materia, if you're using it offensively, scales with your magic stat. An Enhanced Magic Guard could be okay. And an extra 200 HP could be okay, but... The idea is to have Tifa buffed in a way that she doesn't just get one shot. Because <laughs> she does take more damage. She's supposed to be the one that helps. She just, I have her build stagger, increase stagger, but then I really think Eric is going to do most of the damage this whole playthrough. Oh, she might as well have an elemental materia of her own. She can switch this back to Petrify. But essentially every boss fight, I'll have to be making adjustments like this. And I, I imagine I might eventually get Aerith to the point where she is just... a glass cannon. Where she's got five or six double materia slots all dedicated to one element and then she also has she goes first strike atv boost magic up and then everything else is like the one materia it's on synergy it's on potency up it's on mana cost down it's on mana return and all you do is you you funnel her ATB with synergy abilities and then just have her nuke things in an arcane ward because otherwise it's, you just take too much damage trying to do stuff like more RP-ish. As you saw there, with half damage taken, we'll still get hit for like 1400. But that's what fine tuning hard mode is going to be all about. All right. セフィロスがいるのか。わからない。モンスター、いそうだね。いかにも。ザコは適当にあしらう。不可を言い訳禁物だ。ザコなんていないよ。私には全部強敵。私も。俺もだ、クラウド。なんとかしてくれ。2000だな。極上と普通の間くらい何の話もみ。もみ。もみ。もみ。あ、行くぞ。各自注意してくれ。僕はもともとミスリルを取ってたんだ。<笑> 
お前らミスリルはわかるわうーん聞いたことはあるかなとても硬いそして美しい二人とも正解だしかもとんでもなく貴重だったここ以外で取れたって話は聞いたことがねえ俺は昔鉱山で働いてたからよこの業界はちっとばかり詳しいぜじゃあミスリル探すあんまりおすすめじゃねえなシンナの技術で似たようなものを作れるようになったんだとてつもなく硬くてキラキラしたものをよマテリア生成の応用だろうなへえそうなんだ多分<笑> Well there was chapter 2 If you're watching live, hope you're enjoying it. If you're watching on YouTube, that's how these videos are going to be. Just the whole chapter, the relevant stuff, hard mode, a little bit of struggle on the bosses, trying to fine tune things. That's it. But that's uh, that's chapter two. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Hmm. This chapter is going to split us up, isn't it? Isn't it? Barrett and Cloud, Barrett and Red get split up, so Red can't have 86 HP. Gotcha. <laughs>